Hey guys, and welcome to a new video. So we're back with episode two of my Road to All Scaling Pads series. Now I'm assuming that you guys know the drill about what this is all about, so we can skip that kind of stuff. But I do want to mention that in the last episode, I asked for suggestions for a name uh, of this series. And there were a couple good suggestions. The two that stuck out to me were Building a Zoo and Master of Skilling. It seemed like both of them were popular choices, but the more I thought about it, neither of them really fit for me. They just didn't really sit right with me after a while. So we're just going to stick with the normal name, but if you really do want me to name it one of those, tell me down below and I'll consider it. But let's not stray too much off topic and let's jump right into the video. So as you might have seen in my last video, I did a week of dailies and part of that was creating flasks which gives you decent mining experience and crafting experience. Now I'm not 100% certain that you can get the pets from that, but I'm assuming you can, so I just wanted to include that so you know that I did some crafting and mining. So as I mentioned in the last episode, I was doing mining every time I needed to AFK, but a couple weeks ago I decided to change to thieving. Uh, the reason for that is that I want to get some hard and elite clues, which you do get pretty often from the elves in Elf City. I've been working on loot from 100 of each clue for so long now. It's almost been like two years, so I really just should finish that. So thieving it was. And I only did it for like 8 or 10 hours or something like that. It wasn't much. And the unthinkable fucking happened. So two days ago, I was doing a lot of homework, and I wasn't really paying attention while I was thieving. So I would like log out all the time after my five minutes because I was just not looking at my screen. So eventually I just logged out. I just... Didn't worry about it because I was so focused on my homework. And on Skype, one of my friends messaged me like, fuck you or something. And I didn't really get it. I was like, why are you being mean? And the next day, I asked him what was up. And my other friend told me that I got the thieving pet. I'm like heading to class right now. I'm like, what do you mean I got the thieving pet? Because I obviously didn't see myself. So I had to wait a couple hours to confirm it. So I was just sitting in class like, shit, did I get the thieving pet? And lo and behold, a couple hours later, I went home and found that I actually did get the thieving pet. You guys see it? I really have no words for that. I missed my pet for whatever reason. And yeah, I can't really go on more than that. <laughs> anyway, though, I'm super psyched that I have this pet. So I decided I'm going to go back to mining, get that shit done. And so I'm not even shitting you guys. I am not pulling your leg here. Just 20 minutes after I started mining. I got the mining pet. And another funny tidbit, this one I also almost missed. I wasn't looking at my screen. I was also working on homework. I think it took me like 30 to 40 seconds to realize. The only reason I even looked is because uh, my friend Danny messaged me on Skype like, oh my god, two pets in two days, Tyler. So yeah, that happened. Uh, two pets, two days, and both of them I basically did not notice. Good on you, Tyler. Now let me reiterate if you missed it, I said that I went mining after I confirmed that I got the thieving pet. Yes, it literally took 20 minutes. I basically only had 20 minutes to absorb the fact that I got the thieving pet, you know? Give me a break, Jagex. But anyway, though, I did get the Jack of Trades title, which if you're unaware, that is the title you get when you get five different skilling pets. When you get all of them, you get the Jack of All Trades title. So another huge milestone completed, and we're at five pets already. That is absolutely insane, guys. Now that I'm done with thieving and mining, both of them being AFK skills for me, I have to decide on what AFK skill I'm going to do next uh, for skilling pets. And I narrowed it down between cooking and fire making, and I honestly do not know the best thing to cook. I couldn't decide between shark or rocktail, so I'm like, fuck it. We're going to do fire making. It's easy with magic logs, and holy hell, they're only like 600 GP each. That's crazy how cheap they are. So I bought like 25,000 for now, and I'll stock up more if I need more, but this will give me almost 9 million fire making or something like that. So yeah, it's going to be a jolly old time, and I was also thinking because I'll be fire making and I'll have a chance at fire spirits every now and then, I may as well make a fire spirits loot video uh, in the future, maybe like 100 or a couple hundred just for shits and giggles. But on top of that, losing all that money to magic logs, I also realized I was really low on farming supplies, like my trees. So rest in peace, cash tag. Oh man, it's just so sad. But it's alright, I am almost at 200 mil farming now. I think I'm at 184 million. So this should be pretty close to the last time I have to restock, which is such a great feeling. I just need one final push, and I'll get that 200 mil. Oh, and speaking of farming, because there is a high chance of me not getting the pet before 200 mil, 
considering how close I am. I'm going to get desperate, and I really do not want to farm past 200 mil. So there is a method of AFK farming in the arc that was released when Batch 2 was released um, just earlier this month, where you forage the mushroom clusters. You can do this on islands like the, the islands that were once Turtles and Goshima, but it's best to do them on your Uncharted Isle if you do have the mushroom clusters. You get more experience that way, and I think it's around 50k experience per hour AFK. One of my good friends who's an Iron Man, uh, he says it's very, very good for Iron Man because you can skip the whole process of getting seeds as well as getting a lot of chimes if you do need it. So what I was thinking is if I didn't have the pet or something, I could just go here and just camp here until I get it. I've heard that it's a decent way of getting the pet. I'm not really sure considering farming is a production skill and your chances based on the amount of experience you're getting. And to be honest with you, 50k is only a couple magic trees, so it isn't the best, but if I was really desperate, it's an option. But yeah, that pretty much does it for this episode. Let's go into the slides and see how everything's progressing. So first of all, here are the pets. Of course, we've added the mining pet on the bottom left, and we have added the thieving pet. So I did update this slide a little bit. I made the ones that I haven't gotten a little bit darker, I've made them more desaturated than they already were, so it's a little bit easier to tell, but either way, that is some damn good progress in just two episodes. And then here is the experience slide, so I have changed this a little bit, and I do want to explain. Essentially, the first slide I'm going to show you for the experience is the amount of experience I got during this episode since the last. As I mentioned, I got a couple hundred K mining and a couple hundred K crafting from the flasks, and then I actually got like 30 K. Uh, mining from the sarin stones, which is included. I got to 1.8 mil thieving and a couple million farming. So not a ton of experience gained in this episode, but of course I did get the two pets. But in further episodes, I'm probably going to get tons of fire making and such. So I think it's fine. Oh, and you might be wondering why I only did 2 million farming. I honestly skipped a lot of runs. Uh, I haven't mentioned this to you guys, only really on Twitter, that I've just been super stressed with school and... I've actually dropped a class because I switched majors and it was just a clusterfuck, so uh, I skipped a lot of runs, but next episode should have a lot more farming, definitely. And speaking of Twitter, you guys should definitely follow me down in the description. I tweet like once a year, man. I am so active. Anyway though, this is the next experience slide that I'll be showing you guys. What's different from the last one is that this is cumulative across all of the episodes. And I've also added a way to show you what pets I've already gotten just so I can show progress on this screen as well. So obviously the skills with green text are the ones that I've gotten the pet for, and the red ones are skills that I'm currently going for the pet for. Now again, like this said, this is cumulative, so this is the amount of experience I've gained since the series start. Um, and it's honestly a lot of experience, it really is. Do I deserve five pets in that amount of experience? Hell no. I think I deserve maybe one or two with the amount of experience I've gotten, because I've talked to many people who've done almost 100 million experience, if not more, with nothing. So I have a feeling in further episodes, I'm gonna get shit luck, and you can expect possibly to have episodes that don't have any pets, as long as I feel like I've done enough progress. So keep that in mind, but I mean, I could have them all done by tomorrow. Who knows? But in all seriousness, I do want to ask one more thing. Where do you guys think I should train Hunter for the Hunter pet? I really don't know a good place for this. I know you can do Draconic Jadinkos, Ornate Tortles, but I'm not really sure which one's the best. Um, if any of you have been going for the Hunter Pet or have gotten it and you know what the best method is, please tell me down below. I hope it's the Ornate Tortles because they're not too bad. I'm just asking because I'm thinking of grinding out the Hunter Pet soon. Considering I hate Hunter, might as well get all of the hard skills out early on and then I can finish up the series with easy AFK. But yeah, I think that is the end of this episode. Hope you guys have enjoyed, and hopefully you don't want to kill me either for my luck. But thanks to Jagex for the pets. I just really wished I was there to see it in person and not be super AFK or some shit. I'll try better next time. But with all that said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good day. So two days ago, so two days, yeah, so two, yeah, so two, yeah.
So two days ago, I was doing a lot of homework 